Libra, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your February 2020 reading. We're still looking for that clarity in our lives, right? Looking at the finer details, okay? Seeing it. This month we celebrate Valentine's Day in the Americas, whether you're alone or with someone. Happy Valentine's Day. Do something nice for yourself if you're alone. Love yourself. You deserve it. You don't have to look outside of yourself for love. Hmm. Let's see what we have for our beautiful Librans. You know, when I was shuffling this, I saw this card and I said, oh, that's going to be one of them. There it is. You know, I noticed Libra gets this a lot over the years that I'm reading. So it's like you guys nurture things. Like you really tend the soil, like you clear the land, metaphorically, literally, figuratively in your life. You nurture the soil, then you plant your seed, your idea. You water it, you watch it over time, you fertilize it, it grows. You fine tune it. Whether this is in a love relationship, this is in yourself and how you present yourself to the world, how you are in the outer world, you know, your job or career, how you are in the home with your family and loved ones, even in school, your work, your trade, your peers, your colleagues, everything. You fine tune and groom things. And like even for musicians and writers, anyone who creates something, um, people who carve, people who work with clay. And even if you're a contractor, you know, you work with your hands, but you build something. So that's what this is about with the Seven of Pentacles. You have been working on something diligently. You put a lot of your love into this. And now it's fully matured or about to fully mature for you. Let me just see what this card is with the Seven of Pentacles. I, can't, I haven't memorized them all over the years, so okay. This is Saturn in Taurus. So this goes back to May 11th to May 20th. So we're kind of like in between and betwixt here. It could be something you had started around that time to nurture. And what I'm gonna say they're saying it could be coming to uh, ripeness and ready to be um, harvested in this May coming. <clears throat> but we're looking at Saturn that you really dedicated yourself to this. You kind of held yourself back in other things in your life so you could focus and be diligent on this in your life. Whatever this person, relationship, or matter is, you're smart enough to know what I'm talking about in these general readings, <clears throat> that the spiritual message is there for your life if you are open to hear it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then in Taurus, now Taurus is ruled by Venus, and so are you. That Venusian energy of, yes, love, how you love yourself, your core values, money, and finances. <clears throat> Excuse me, the finer things in life. So when we look at this, it's saying it's time for you to get ready to reap what you have sown. Now, when you have put all this dedication into something, you may have expectations. Some Librans have um, a love of something so much that it, it consumes them. You know, they kind of give all of it to them. And it's not always like that in a love relationship with a human, but about something outside of themselves. They devote and dedicate themselves to something. And this is going to be your payoff. Um, for others of you, if it is something you've been nurturing, but not really putting the time in, you're going to get the same results from that. So if it was a relationship you were with someone, and you were distracted by this other thing and gave all your time and energy to nurture and love that for your own self growth and rewards, something else in your life may not bear fruit the way you were hoping for. I'm not saying you expected something because I really feel like if you expected something, you would have given equal energy to it. But it's like you had a few things going <clears throat> and you kind of chose one that you really focused your energy on. All right, and now that it's time to harvest, you're wondering, okay, is this the results that I was hoping for? Is this the results that I could never have dreamed of? Look how laden the tree is with all this heavy weighted pentacles. So for many of you, you're going to be feeling the rewards of. Now for some of you, if it's, let's say a business you had started, it's going to start to pay off for you. 
um, by May, like we had said, 11th to 20th, you're gonna to start to reap the benefits of it. If it was a musical project for my artist friends, um, yes, you're going to see that it's going to be well received, okay, and it is time to present this to the world and um, accepted very nicely. And for some of you, it will be different, you know, on different levels. Um, and if it was like in a, a relationship, a love relationship with someone, because we have to address that with Taurus, um, were you a little bit too cool and aloof with this person? Were you a little bit too distracted by other things? So it, it may be something that you're going to have to give a second look at and say, you know, I don't think it's reached its fullest potential because of what I did put into it. And you may decide to focus more on this other project than the love relationship. Now this I'm looking at a lot of Libran men I'm saying this for. The Libran women, um, you're a bit airy and cool and aloof and you don't like to be smothered by your mate. You want the attention when you want it but not like over identifying with them. So it could be the Libran men that you feel like um, the relationship isn't going as well as it could have if you had spent more time devoted to it. So you might have to go back and look at this and say, what did I miss here? Well, do I really want to put the energy into it? You know, this relationship isn't as strong to me as it could be. And if it is the right relationship, I would have devoted myself to it. See, everybody's gonna be different. But whatever it is, we know that you will be having the potential of the harvest, the payback, for the energy you put into it. That harmonic balance you always seek, what you give, you get, the universe reverberates it back to us. So with this card, it looks like the work that you put into this will reap the benefits uh, for most of you that will be equal to what you gave it. And there's always a variance, you know? There's always a variance that some of you will get more than what you put into it through a stroke of your own design and your in your life's destiny before you got here. And some of you may be a little less, again, by your own design. Everyone is different, but it is gonna be a time that you will get the payback for the work that you've put in and feel the pleasures and stability of what it is that you were working on. Like I said, it could be love, it could be school, it could be a job or business. Everyone is gonna be different. Let me just see if there was anything else. I mean, you're not going to be heartbroken because, you know, the grass is growing, the sheep are in the field, they're eating there, you've got the squirrel there too, just, you know, re you know, wreaking havoc on it, taking your, your abundance, you know, the fruits, the spoils. So I, I feel like none of you are going to be dissatisfied because even if it's something that didn't work out as well as you wanted it to, you're going to be like, meh, you know, I'm happy with what I got, you know, and that that's that Libra energy too, you know, a lot of the, especially male Libra, this keeps coming up, male Libra, you know, you're usually very contented, you know, they call them laid back, or they say lazy Librans, you know, you kind of go with the flow in life, which is really great. Libra women are a lot more chatty and very sharp, you know, and they're uh, very um, dynamic compared to the male Libra. And if they're gonna go for it, they're gonna go with the gusto and they're gonna expect that return. And they usually do get it. Two sevens, look at you, the number of man, humanity. Making a stand for yourself, Libra, standing tall. Now here with the seven of cups, and you know, this is the polarity to it, you know, where you're having that May, November kind of thing. Um, this is November 13th to the 22nd, Venus and Scorpio. So there's a lot of um, illusory things going on here. You're kind of trying to focus now. So you've achieved this. You got to this place. Now you're saying for the next step, what am I going to do? I want this. I want this. I want this. Again, see, so many things that it's providing you. Um, balance and grounded energy or even finances. This is the windfall of the money. You know, somebody bought one of your pieces of music or your choreography, or you got the role in, in a play, or you got the money that you needed to buy this house or to get engaged. You know, this is, uh, this is the payback you're getting for what you did, but now you're trying to figure out, oh God, what's the next step here? What am I gonna do now? I have to tell you, um, uh, you, you tend to overweigh things in your mind, Libra. So let's look at this in the point of, let's look at your Venusian energy. What is gonna give you the most pleasure? This card is about pleasure. 
I feel loved, I feel happy, I feel blessed, I feel successful, I feel healthy, um, I feel accomplished. I feel confident. You see, these are the pleasures in life. Now, yes, Venus is about money and your core values, but this is what we're talking about. What do you value? So why don't you look at it that way and saying, what is this thing that's going to give me the most pleasure right now? Especially Venus and Scorpio. That's very pleasure seeking. That's very, um, very sexual energy. First of all, that's uninhibited and abandoned. But with Scorpio, it's deeper psyche. It's something that you want to quell that's deep within you. So is there, um, is there a goal that you've had or a dream that you thought was too big that you couldn't have? With this Venus and Scorpio, you could put that energy to focusing on that and filling that cup, that holy grail. Oh, I can never have that beautiful home on the beach. Or I don't think I could ever have that, you know, corner office with the great job. I don't think I could ever have that, that great relationship living abroad. See, these are the things that we feel are too big for us. And with Venus and Scorpio, it's here to say that's not true. All the finer things you can have. And you don't have to just pick one. But if it's too much for you right now, narrow it down to the most pleasurable seeking thing for you that would give you the most joy, quell your deep psyche, you know, dig deep like Scorpio, dive in, really see what is at the depths of me that I truly desire and hone in on that because the payoff is here. You've got to ride this wave while you've got this wave. Now this could go out to November for you that it will come to fruition by then or that you'll make your decision by then. But do try and focus on something that you know will be life-changing for you. Scorpio, life, death, rebirth, something that's gonna be transformational. Go for the big one, go for the gusto, Libra, come on. You deserve it, love yourself. And if it is with this relationship that you're not certain what to do, go ahead, dive in and see what you're afraid of, what you feel you're not entitled to or what you think you don't deserve and go for that one because you do deserve it. Five of Swords. Yeah, you feel like you got cheated. You know, you feel like, man, I I, I do so much work. I, I, you know, I work on everything. I'm trying to do everything for myself in my life. I put the energy in, you know, I feel the love for it. I give my, my soul, my desire to this person, this situation, this thing, and I get robbed. I feel like, you know what? Uh, I did all this work and I got nothing. Now this is the mental realm. So you have earth here, interesting, right? Water here, emotion, and now swords, which is your thoughts, okay? In communication, you are an air sign. So for some of you, you're looking at this and there may be some quarrels going on. There may be a debate about this. Maybe somebody you're working with in your situation in your life, whether it's family, a lover, or friends, whatever it is, they're gonna be um, naysayers of this. You're nuts. What do you mean you're going to try and uh, go work out of the country or you're going to move to this other place? You don't know anybody. Are you kidding me? You're going to leave what you're doing now and, and take a chance to, to be a, a musician or an artist or open this new business? See, these are the people that poo poo on your things. And they mean well because they love you, but really, it's not going to help you. And whether it's successful or not doesn't matter. The fact that you want to try and this is your heart's desire is something you need to fulfill. And then you'll just be angry with those people if they don't, um, if they try and talk you out of it. But you're the one in control here. So let's look at that. Maybe these people that you're surrounding yourself with weren't the best people for you mentally. They didn't have the same ideas as you did. And this card is like January 20, 29th. So this could have been something that's been coming up. And it's another Venusian card for you. Wow. And that's three of the cards that have Venusian times, Venus, and that's your ruling planet. But it's an Aquarius, okay? So you know Aquarius is about freedom. It's the higher mind, Libra. It's like you, air sign. And you want to reach for the stars. You want to manifest as above, so below. So maybe you're going to take all of your ideas now. And it may mean that after this battle with these people or this situation, your job, you're going to just say, you know, what? I've done everything I can. I've given all of myself to this. And now I have no energy left. And mentally, it's draining me. At the end of the day, what was won? What was lost? You're still standing the number that's seven humanity, right? You're making a stand for yourself. All of this orange and yellow 
is very empowering, creative energy, and you're making your stand and saying, you know what, I'm going to take my ideas, how I'm feeling about everything with the success that I've had, and I'm going to branch out into something new. Now, if it's in a love relationship, you know that maybe your family and friends don't like this person. They don't want you to move in together or get married or engaged or have a baby because you're not married. It doesn't matter. You know, whatever's going on, you're going to stick true to what you feel is good for you. And like I said, with Aquarius, it's freedom. It's higher knowledge. Things coming to you from the blue. And with Venus, it's definitely about your core values. So something didn't sit right with this person or people around you about this situation in your life. And it is time that you say, I got robbed all these years, all this time that I wasted listening to other people. Everything I want is on the other side of fear. I'm ready to take off now and do what I have to do. And like nobody's wounded or killed or dead here. But you know, there might be feelings hurt. You know, that's that five energy it could be one way or another. But they realize they have no power over you now. And you're going to take this chance, this leap of faith and do this for yourself. Because the people that you surrounded yourself with weren't on the same mental level as you are with what's going on in your life. And it's time for you to make a stand. And you feel successful. You feel like a winner here. Six of Pentacles is a nice card. It's saying things are going to go your way. There's the scale, the fulcrum. That is your symbol. You're the only sign that doesn't have a, a, a life form, okay, as its glyph. So you have the fulcrum, and look, it's tipping in your favor, and the, the spoils are coming to you. So you will see the results of what you want. I'm going to say not only is it going to be a grounded, stable, balanced relationship that's harmonic with this person, whether it's a love interest a partner or a friend and even if it's a situation when you open this business you branched out on your own you you got this big house whatever it is that the money you could buy the money with what you have um, benefited from your own hard work and dedication and put your heart center and desire into and really thought about this with the ideas that you had it's going to be a good payoff for you it's going to restore some balance to you not only financially though um, if you've been out of balance mentally because of what was going on or even physically, this is going to help you become regrounded again and stable. Um, you and this person are going, to, uh, are going to find a balance and strike a chord within each other. And you know what? This is May 1st through 10th. So a lot of this is like do that May, November. So it could have started last November, culminating this May, or started last May. And with this card, starting to see the progress in May up until November, it's all... Um, out in the open and you know what this card is moon and taurus all of these cards are speaking to you libra the moon is your emotions all right where you feel loved nurtured and cherished protected safe it's uh, your inner strength and in taurus which is also another venusian sign is where you feel grounded stability you feel settled like a bull in the paddock, right? Chewing its cud. It's just there. It doesn't want to move. I'm happy in my paddock. Leave me alone. You're there. You're dug in. You're grounded. Um, and as this blessing is coming to you, whether it's the love that you've been waiting for, the finances you've been waiting for, the backing on uh, uh, a musical piece or a grant for school, you know, you you graduated, whatever this achievement is that's restoring balance to you and giving you that successful feeling, remember the cycles in your life and always looking to whatever comes good to me, I want to also give that to others. And whether it's a loving support, helping hand, it's not always about money, um, encouragement, your story to let them see that this can happen. You see, he's very well dressed, all right? And, you know, he's tallying his his riches and he's sharing with others so for you maybe it's about your experiences in life that you're sharing with someone maybe you're writing a book it's the time for you to get it published or a memoir or maybe um you're helping other people with um a vocation or a trade learning how to play an instrument you know, whatever it is you're taking your life experience and the joy that you felt from it and the success from it and also sharing it with somebody else so I hope this helps you, Libra. Like I said, 
snapshot this information into your question. Even if you say, that doesn't make sense. I, I'm, I wanna know about this guy. Well, why don't you take a few deep cleansing breaths, come back to this, sit down, relax, and just listen to the words that Spirit's giving you and see how that can apply to this relationship you're in and that they're giving you help and a resolve. And it might not be what you wanna hear, but it could be what you need to know. And again, you have free will. But you could always look to your rising sign too. But I hope it helps you, Libra. Have a great month. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. If you haven't, please do so. Have a great February. Okay, I'll see you all next month. And as always, I wish you the best.